Hey guys, it's Jennifer with Courtside Tennis After Hours, where the stores might be closed, but we are serving up tips and tricks so you're ready when you're courtside. So um, the beginning of 2023, what I like to do usually is look back at the following year, see our best-selling shoes, best-selling rackets, pickleball paddles, etc. And today we're going to cover our best-selling tennis rackets of 2022. <clears throat> so our best one last year, um, and I actually might not, I'm sure it's somewhere behind here it is is the blade 98 um 16 by 19. so there are two different string patterns on the blade 98 there's a 16 by 19 and an 18 by 20. the 16 by 19 is far more popular the 18 by 20 didn't even make it in the top five for selling tennis rackets um last year with this pattern it's a little bit more open so you're going to be able to put a little bit more spin on the ball where the 18 by 20 is going to be a denser string pattern um giving you more control so it is a smaller head, so with that you are going to get more control. With the V8, they um, <clears throat> added technology to give you more feel too. So this was our top-selling tennis racket last year of 2022. Our um, second best-selling tennis racket, which I was a little surprised about, this was either second or third, um, was the Pro Staff 97. So it's a slightly smaller head size um, than the blade. It's going to be a little bit more stiff. You'll get a little bit more power from this one. Um, people love better, but most people can't handle the actual RF because that's the heaviest racket on the market. I believe it's 12 ounces unstrung, where this one is 11.1 ounces. Again, slightly smaller than the blade. It's 97 versus 98. So you will get a little more control, even though you are getting more power, but you'll get a little more control from the smaller head. Um, but this was a great one too last year, top five. Another one is the Wilson Clash 100. So this has always been one of our top selling rackets. Um, Wilson really kind of knocked it out of the ballpark with the first Clash, the V1. Last year they came out with the V2. Um, so they changed the technology slightly, gave it this cool cosmetic. It's engraved here now to Clash, which I think is really cool, and pretty feature on this. Um, the Clash 100 is what most men and women will use. It's kind of right in the middle weight wise. Most men will do 10.6 ounces. Most women will do 10.1 ounces. This is unstrung. Um, and this racket is coming in right at 10.4. So it's a really popular racket for both men and women. 100 square inches. So it's gonna be a good generous face size for people that are beginning, um, intermediate, even advanced players play with this. The really unique thing about the Clash is it's the most arm friendly racket on the market. It flexes in a way, uh, Wilson came up with this patent and technology that the racket flexes in a different way than all the other rackets on the market so it absorbs the shock of the ball more it's a really great racket for anyone that has tennis elbow um maybe you've had like arm issues in the past surgeries or you're just trying to prevent you know tennis elbow this would be the racket that i'd highly recommend for you our, th our other one I believe this was number uh, four was the pure drive so i'm a little shocked to see it go down a little bit on the list normally last year well not last year 2021 i think it was our best selling um but still top five it's babylon's best selling racket um 100 square inches it's 10.6 ounces they do have a lighter weight they have the pure drive team for women they also have a pure drive light option that's 9.5 ounces so that's really great for juniors that are finally transitioning into an adult racket um, this racket also has an oversized option too it comes in a 107 and a 110 so that's kind of good for people that want a little bit larger sweet spot um, maybe like an older person with a shorter compact swing um, they do have it in a larger face size but the pure joy is great super power oriented racket from Babolat. Babolats are notoriously known for being like a little bit more stiff i personally play with the Babolat, so i don't notice it too much but um but yeah, this is a great one here. And then our top five, our fifth one was a Pure Arrow. Um, I think it was at the end of last year, they came out with the newer Pure Arrow, which is this cosmetic right here. Um, so this one didn't quite, you know, crack the top 10 or top five, but that's to be expected because it came out at the very end of last year. But this one, I have high hopes for this coming year of 2023. But in 2022, the regular Pure Arrow um, was definitely top five. It's a super spin-oriented racket. This is the racket that, you know, Nadal uses. 
comes in all those different weights too, like the Babolat that I mentioned. Um, only difference is this does not have an oversized option. There's no 107 or 110, but this is a great racket for somebody that's looking for something that can help aid them put a little bit more spin onto the ball. It also is, since they are a little bit more stiff Babolats, it will give you a lot of free power too. So those are our top five selling tennis rackets of 2022. I'm really curious to hear what you guys play with. Um, what's your favorite racket? Do you play with any of these? What do you like about them? What do you dislike about them? Feel free to comment below and uh, we will see you at the next video. If you like what you saw, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you get notified when we post videos. Thanks guys.